five, six, seven, and. Tom, get your plane right on time. I know your part will go fine. Fly down to Mexico. Da -da -da, da -da -da. That was The Only Living Boy in New York by Simon and Garfunkel. Played as a request for a friend of the Morristown Uke Jam in Texas. And played straight from the charts of the Morristown Uke Jam. So take the link in the video description, download the free ukulele song sheet, grab your own uh, ukulele, and you can play along with me. And if you'll be anywhere near Morristown, New Jersey, come out and play with us. Now I'm about to do a tutorial on what I just played together with a slow motion close-up play along that you might find helpful. But I'd just like to remind you, if you like the video, please like the video with a thumbs up. If you want lots more, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you want hundreds more free downloadable ukulele song sheets, each one with its own ukulele play along and tutorial, check out our Dropbox and then come play with us. Now, the strum that I used almost throughout, almost without exception. I wrote in the tab, or I, not the tab exactly, I wrote in the, the strum pattern, but um, I called it a lazy bouncy strum. The reason I called it, you know, well, lazy because it goes relatively slowly, but bouncy because it doesn't go evenly like this. I'm out of tune. Badly. My apologies. I think I need to replace this string. Okay. It doesn't go even. It's not this. That would be even, right? Instead, it lingers on the bottom longer. It also has sort of a four beat. That is to say, it's the first, not the second, down strum that you emphasize. Here. Here. No. Here. Yes. Here. Here. there's a couple pauses in there. I'm going to I'm going to be playing that uh strum again in slow motion if you want to have some practice playing along with me, I'll be playing that in slow motion in just a moment. First, I'm going to go over the chord transitions. So, starts out with a C. I usually start out with a C on my ring finger unless I have some reason to to use it differently. And then with that C, my other two fingers, my my strongest two fingers are hanging right over the F. And they go back and forth, and 
and that's about half the song right there between C and F. If you if you don't hold your finger like this, if you have it hovering, then you barely have to move your fingers to go back and forth from C to F, even though they have nothing in common. And then on the third line, fly down to Mexico. You realize through that four chord pattern that goes pretty quickly, the middle finger is kind of an anchor point. So I put down the F and then I just pick a finger up and I got the A minor and then I put down two more and I got the D minor, I pick up one and I have the F, the middle finger stays stuck to second fret of the fourth string that entire time. So you can think of that as your anchor point and not get lost. And then you do have to pick them all up and put pick up the uh, the G and from from the G and back to the F. Yeah, that's you're picking up the entire thing. Sorry, I don't have any uh, I don't have any clues there about how to make that easier. But then so the second half of, or the, the last line of the, the second verse, um, as well as the last line of the interlude, the interlude's the same as the verse, but. So I am stuck on the only living boy in New York. And here goes now, I, again, middle finger is solidly in that position. I move my index finger over just one and I've got the A. And here's how I'm doing that A sus fourth and that A fifth. I found that I'm, I I was constantly putting my finger in the wrong place for the A fifth. When I I mean the most natural way to do the A suspended fourth from an A is to just drop the ring finger, right? That's that's natural to me. But when I did that, I'd find my pinky was landing in the wrong place. So I switched. I instead I slid my index finger up. And that way, I'm twisting my hand around, and that ended up putting my pinky right over where it needed to be for the fifth. That's it. Just kind of slide it over the fret. That's A, A suspended fourth, A fifth. And by the way, if you're having trouble with those, if you're a beginner's beginner, and that's just too rough for you, just play the A. You can ignore the other two. Just leave it as an A. Half of the time, right. half of the time we're gone. It'll work. It'll work that way. I think I'm going to stop talking and just do that slow motion close-up pale um, that I was talking about. I'm going to play um, clear through the chorus. Slow motion close-up on my left hand, so you'll be able to see every chord transition and practice along with that strum in slow motion if you want. Starting, like I said, slow motion. Starting with that intro. Five, six, seven, and. Tom, get your plane right on time. It was slower. I know your part will go. Yeah. 
only living boy in New York See you Wednesday.